Awesome. So now welcome to the Instagram algorithm lecture. Now this is going to be a little bit more advanced than we've been going through so far. But if you can understand this algorithm, if you can take what you learn here and actually understand it at its core fundamentals and then apply it to your Instagram account, you are going to be miles ahead of your competition and you're going to see some incredible, incredible growth on Instagram. So let's jump in. I'm actually excited to do this one with you because this is the stuff, the science behind Instagram, that is if you plug the right stuff in, you're going to get the right stuff out. So if you plug this in, you're going to get a lot of followers out the other side. So Instagram's algorithm decides what content to show on people's home feed. So if you're browsing your home feed on Instagram, Instagram have selectively curated what you're seeing. It's not, it's not showing you every single post from every single person you follow, but Instagram actually using an algorithm to decide what they think is going to keep you on their app the longest, what they think you're going to enjoy the most and interact with the most, which ones of these posts are your favorites in order to have, have you have the most uh, pleasurable experience possible on their app and therefore spend more time on it and come back and use it in the future. So you need to understand the same goes for people who follow your account you will on average reach just 10% of the people who have decided to follow you. Meaning if a thousand people decide that they like your account and follow you, that's not enough to actually get in front of those thousand people. When you put a post out, on average, you're actually gonna reach just 10% of these people or 100 people. So this is where we need to work a little bit of magic and we need to understand and understand the algorithm first and foremost, and then we need to understand how to hack this algorithm in order to increase this exposure and be seen on as many people's news feeds as possible. So making sure that any photo that you post will go out to at least half of your followers or sometimes even more than your followers, which we're gonna get into that in a second. But how do you post a photo to a thousand people and get 5,000 people to look at? You use the tips and tricks in this exact lecture. So this is what it's going to look like. This is what your current on the left here your current Instagram account may look like. I don't know if you're posting uh, stretching bears in the water, but you're going to put a uh, photo up and it doesn't actually attract new followers back to your account. Um, and you know, you probably get 52, maybe 100, uh, maybe you're getting 1,000 likes, but you're not getting the full capacity of likes that you actually can get. When you use these strategies that we're gonna teach you, you're going to actually get new followers for every piece of content that you post. So. One of the biggest growth strategies now is just gonna become posting more content and then using these strategies to boost that content so that you're getting these new followers back and they're more likely to like your next photo and help that do really well. And of course, you're gonna get a lot more interaction on the photos um, that you post. You're gonna get more engagement, more likes, more comments, and uh, your Instagram account really is just gonna be seen as much more popular from Instagram and they're gonna help you boost it. But to understand how to get Instagram to actually boost your account, you need to understand uh, the answer to this question. And the question is, what does Instagram want? Because if we know what Instagram want, we can give Instagram what they want and therefore they can give us what we want, which is more exposure. So the simple answer to the question is that Instagram want high quality content that people absolutely love because the, for the simple reason that they want people to use their app more. And the more people use their app, the more ads they can show to these people and the more money they make. So therefore, if you're on Instagram and you just keep scrolling and you keep seeing content that you absolutely love, you're going to spend more time on it and Instagram are gonna sell you more ads. So now that we know Instagram what high quality content people love, we need to know how they determine if it's high quality content that people love or if it's low quality content. So say we post this photo here on the left of delicious looking avocado toast with a side of, what is that, an apple crumble or something and a coffee, you know, just a breakfast post. Instagram have to decide whether this is a high quality post or whether it's a low quality post and whether they want to show it to a lot of people or nobody. And the way they do this is actually quite interesting. And I've re represented it here as what we call a micro test. So... Instead of Instagram being like, oh, we're gonna have people manually look at that photo and just be like, do we think that people are going to like that? 
Instagram actually go and use hard data. They actually just go and they micro test the photo that you put out there, meaning they take that photo and in this example, this isn't these numbers aren't exact, but it's just to get the principle across. They're going to show that photo to 100 people who follow you already. And what they do is they measure the engagement. So whether people view it, whether people, if it's a video, it's called a view if you watch it, whether people like it, whether people comment on it, share it, or whether people stop scrolling. So time on post is if they're going through their newsfeed and they stop scrolling and they see a photo, that's also counted as engagement. So these are the things that we want to make sure that our content is doing. If we can get our followers to engage with our content in any of these ways, Instagram are going to see it as higher quality because this is how they run their tests. If Instagram, if you put this photo up on Instagram and Instagram micro test it, which you need to know that Instagram micro test every single piece of content that goes on their platform. Not one piece of content is not micro tested. So this isn't just a random uh, stop and frisk test that's going on, but every time you post, your content won't go out to everybody at once. It'll go out to a micro test. And if say 10 people, you can see the pink 10 people on the top of this uh, cool little graphic have interacted and engaged with it, which remember the engagements are uh, what we saw on this other page here. If we can go back, I think we've gone back too far. So these are the engagement. This is how people engage. They view it, they like it, they comment on it, they share it, or they stop scrolling. So if 10 people have done that, Instagram are going to see that and say that, wow, 90 people actually didn't engage with this and therefore wasn't interested in it. Therefore, this is low quality content because only 10 out of 100 people actually engaged with it. However, the same piece of content goes out to a micro test and they have 60 people engage with it. They're going to be like, wow, okay, that's really high quality content because six out of 10 people like this photo enough to engage with it. And therefore, this is how Instagram are going to understand whether your content that you're posting out there is really high quality or low quality. And this is how Instagram therefore determine should they promote this piece of content to their uh, to more people on their app or should they really just hide it from existence and pretend it never existed. Now, you can see here that I've got it sort of binary, uh, mainly just to show you how simple uh, this principle in the simplest form possible. So micro test, is it high quality or is it low quality? Where in reality, it's more of a sliding scale. So Instagram do the micro test, as you can see on the left, they've tested your photo. And then on the right, instead of being, is it high quality or is it low quality? They actually rate it. So they may rate it on a, on a scale of zero to 100 based on how many people engage with it. And therefore, you're going to fall somewhere on this exposure graph. And this is the boost that Instagram are going to give your piece of content if it's really high quality, or if it's really low quality, they're only gonna give it a little bit of a boost. But you can see this is how things go viral. They keep, they someone posts a piece of content that performs exceedingly well in the micro test phase. And therefore, Instagram push it out to 100,000 plus more people because it's done well in their micro testing phase. An average piece of content um, is going to fall on average on the graph. So that's how you reach 10% of your audience on average when you post a piece of content because that's how your um, content is going to perform on average. And we wanna boost that average up. We wanna be able to reach over 100,000 people from our posts. But how we do that is we need to perform well in the micro test. And just a little bit of background info, how this actually happens and how you can actually reach more than uh, the amount of people. So I'm just going back right here. How you can actually reach the 100,000 people for your post is because of the discover tab. Instagram can recommend your content both in the discover tab and in the home tab if it's performed well in the micro test because they know it's high quality content and they want other people to see it. That's going to keep uh, them on their app for longer. So our hack here and what we need to investigate how to do is how to get as much engagement possible within the first couple of hours of our post because we know that first couple of hours is the micro test phase. And therefore, if we can get as much engagement as possible, we're going to be rated really high quality or on that scale, we're going to be rated at the top tier and we can actually 
uh, get all of our posts that we're posting to do far more than a 10% reach, but we can do up to 100 to a 200% reach on average to our audiences just by hacking the algorithm, the Instagram algorithm in this micro test phase.